the flying train. It was such a cold night that Timmy and Nelly were put to bed early. Teddy and Dolly also slept beside them, and Puppy and Kitty slept on the floor next to the bed. Later on, when everyone was fast asleep, Timmy was awakened by a strange sound. Woof, shuff, shuff. What's that noise? Timmy murmured, still half asleep. It's coming closer, he cried. Nelly and the other woke up at the sound of Timmy's voice. They all looked up toward the sound and saw an amazing sight. It's a flying train! Timmy and Nelly shouted at once. Come on, everyone! the train shouted. I will take you for a ride in the sky. All aboard! What? Everyone cried. A ride in the sky? How wonderful! Let's get in! Let's get in! So, Timmy, Nelly, Puppy, Kitty, Teddy and Dolly jumped into the train. Here we go! Woof, 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 toot, toot. The train flying through the air, cracking, hooling, hooting, and puffing smoke all along the way. It flew away from the window. They went so high above the birds, and the birds watched the train fly by in wonder. They dipped their wings and waved at them. Everybody waved at the birds. Timmy, Nelly and their friends were so happy. Over the clouds under the sound and sort the clouds the train went. It flew, flew and flew. Everybody aboard he yelled and laughed with joy. Oh! It's so cold up in the sky, Dolly said, as she begins so shiver. Still, the train flew up and up. It went through the misty clouds, farther and farther away. And suddenly, look, 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 over there, Teddy shouted. Oh, that is that, said Timmy. That must be fairyland, said Puppy. Oh, look, 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 over there, Dolly shouted. There are mountains of ice cream, rivers of honey, beautiful gardens, juicy fruits, and such lovely fairies. Timmy, Nelly, and the other couldn't quite believe their eyes. They couldn't wait to get there, but the train was in a big hurry. It didn't want to stop. So, on they went right past the wonderful place, waving to the fairies, the fairies waved back as they flew on. Foof, chuff, chuff. The flying train kept going. It went farther and farther into the sky. There, there, look over there, Jimmy said. The stars are glittering all over the sky. Yes, said the stars. That is what we do. We glitter like the sun. We are all suns, as you must know. Oh, yes, indeed. You are so beautiful, Timmy said. Timmy and the others wavered at the stars as they flew on. Let's Go to see the moon, said Teddy. Oh, there it is, cried Dolly. It's so beautiful. The moon is very big, isn't it, said Kitty. It's so strange. When we saw the moon from the ground, it was quite small. But look, how big it is up here. Dolly yelled 
excitedly. And see how far we are from Earth and how close we are to the Moon. That's why we see it so big, said Tommy. The Moon was reflecting the sunlight, Timmy, Nelly, and their friends waved goodbye to the Moon, and on they flew in their flying train. Oh, be careful, be careful, Nelly shouted. Here comes a big rain cloud. But the flying train would not listen. It was not afraid of anything at all. There, there, don't be scared. As the engine turned to calm its passenger crashed. The train crashed right into the rain cloud. Big water droplets splattered all round, leaving the front wet and dripping, and a heavy downpour gushed from the smashed cloud. Oh, now, Nelly yelled, all of them were circled to their skin, but the train would not stop flying. It Zip zagged all over the sky, round and round the sky it went. Ah, choo! Nelly began sneezing. Soon everyone was sneezing. Ah, choo! Ah, choo, choo, choo! Oh, if Mommy could see us, we would be scolded, said Nelly, looking around as if Mother was watching. The flying train flew faster and faster. What a hurry it seemed to be in. The wind became stronger as the train weighed faster still. Soon the earth was far below, so far that it was nothing but a small marble. Oh, what is that? Kitty shouted, pointed at a big reddish globe. That is a planet, said Nelly. Look, it's going around the sun. Puppy was amazed. Yes, yes, my teacher said the planet move around the sun, just like our Earth planet, said Nelly. Look, look, there are some strange people on the planet, Teddy said, pointing at the tiny creature they could just make out on the planet. Oh, I know, it's the planet Mars, Timmy explained. We learned about it in school. Those are the little gray people, and look at their flying saucers. Everyone looked at the planet, curious to see people from another world. Yes, we are the little people of Mars. You are most welcome to visit our planet, said the little people waving at the train. Timmy, Nelly, and the other would have loved to meet them, but the train was in such a hurry, it couldn't wait. It hurried past the planet Mars and went farther and farther out into space. How big the sky is, the passengers cried. Unbelievable. There's no end. Look, look, the sun is rising. Let's go, let's go. Let's see the sun, Puppy shouted. Oh, look, how big the sun is. It's very hot. The sun is glowing like a ball of fire. Teddy whispered. Rather fearfully, no, no, we surely sh uh, should not go any closer, Dolly said. It's burning hot. We can't even look at him. Mommy always says that it is uh, not good to look at the sun directly. We looks very wicked. No, no, I'm not wicked, said the sun. I love you all. 
I am the one who gives you light. Rooms and so much more. Yes, of course, the sun gives us a lot, Timmy told the others. We can't live without the sun. He is very good to us. Saying the sun, he suddenly remembered something. Oh, it's almost dawn. We have to get ready for school. Yes, 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 we are going to be late for school, Nelly cried. Stop, stop, please. Timmy and Nelly both shouted at the train engine. The train went on flying as if he didn't hear them. It was going round and round, farther and farther, all over the sky, laughing away. He was in such a hurry. What should we do? We are going to be late for school, said Nelly nervously. Let's jump, let's jump, let's jump off the train, Nelly exclaimed. Yes, yes, let's jump off the train, said Papi too. Then close your eyes. One, two, three, Timmy counted. Everybody jumped out of the train. Oh, mommy, my leg, oh, my arm, oh, ach, oh, everybody was screaming. Just then, Jimmy heard his mother's voice as if in a dream. Why, why are you making all this noise in the middle of the night? Have you had a dream? Mother asked as she rushed into the room. Oh, Timmy woke up, rubbing his knees and elbows as if heart still shouting. Everybody else also woke up. Was it a dream? Timmy murmured looking around. Oh, Timmy. Everybody roared in laughter together.